uh, we're team 12 and um, this is our bracket design um, we're treating this bracket as if it is to hold up a shelf now our first step is to we have our shape and this is our piece of sheet metal and we're going to shear this edge off then we'll use a corner shear to shear this edge and now we have the shape for our bracket so first step is to shear now what we want to do is uh, pierce holes for our um, hardware slots so we want to first pierce a, two holes back here and the reason we chose this shape is so that one person can install the shelf so you would put your screw in the wall and then this would slide over your screw head and it would slide up to here and lock into place and so this will be the side of our wall so we pierce those holes then we pierce our holes on the top so that we can screw in our shelf to our bracket so this side will be our shelf so now our second step was piercing We'd also want to deburr on this step and clean up our sheared edges so we have nice clean edges and holes. This was step two, sorry. Now, um, our step three is going to be bending. We want to bend these edges down 90 degrees. And um, our grain is assumed to be running this way, or our roll, you could say. And that way, this edge is bending perpendicular, giving it the most strength. So we know that that bend will be nice and strong. Our only concern is our strength of this bend. Hopefully, we get no cracking going along the bend uh, parallel with the grain. So our third step is to bend our edges <clears throat> and um, at this step we would probably connect where these two meet that way we would have extra strength with our edge right here we would also not do the holes as the 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 example bracket shows because we'd like a larger surface area to add more strength now coming to our uh, fourth step, we will be annealing and using a process called normalization. Which is a, a slow cooling in still air to add strength to our part. And then after uh, the annealing process, we will want to primer and paint for corrosion resistance. And then you'll have your part. Thank you for your time.